Well, hello and how are you? Hey, this here is Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you live one more time right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, that's right, St. Charles, Missouri, home of the very first state capital of Missouri. That's right, first state capital west of the Mississippi. So, anyway, after that being said, I'm going to tell you what. This here is blog 142. That's right, 142. And, well, we're going to get her started. Uh, today was the uh, Brush family reunion, and so uh, we went out over there to the Blanchett Park. Remember the Blanchett Park? I done told you about that, where I rolled my wheelchair going down the hill. Well, yeah, I didn't roll it today. I didn't, I didn't even attempt going down the hill. I just kind of went down there and enjoyed the company and the festivities and the people and the food boy there was a lot of good food we had pulled pork yes sir now they had half pulled pork with barbecue and half pulled pork without barbecue but they didn't seem to believe that that was enough so they poured both pulled porks together so they had a pulled pork barbecue medley um, so it was kinda maybe a hint of a barbecue flavor but not enough to do any good so they also had a few bottles of sweet baby raised barbecue sauce right there sitting on the table you know if you want a good flavored barbecue sauce you try out some sweet baby raised sweet baby raised barbecue sauce on your ribs will glaze them up nice oh what a nice flavor sweet baby raised remember I don't know why I'd done that. Sweet Baby Ray's was one of the ultimate uh, smart. They were the one of the smartest uh, barbecue sauce products. One of the smartest products I've ever seen. They brought in their product into all the stores. Dollar stores, uh, the cheap grocery stores, the expensive grocery stores, Every one of them, even the uh, um, like your uh, wholesale stores, everybody, all at once, they just flooded the market and said, "Here, this is Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It'll be comfortably priced at this store. It'll be comfortably priced at that store. It'll be priced up here at this store over here." All the stores had Sweet Baby Ray's. It wasn't there, and then it was there. No advertisement. You didn't see an advertisement on television for Sweet Baby Ray's. All of a sudden, it was there, and it was everywhere. If you wanted Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, you just stopped in the store, and there it was. Now, some of the gas stations may not have it, but then again, we're not talking gas stations. We're talking grocery stores. But all, every one of them's got it. So, you want you some sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce, you just stop in the store and pick you up a bottle. I don't know. It was just one of those commercial things. Speaking about commercials, I tell you what. If you ever find yourself down in South Carolina, you ought to stop yourself right on into the Hampton Inn Northeast. Yes, sir, the Hampton Inn Northeast was one of the finest uh overnight stays I have ever had in my life. I was there for a good five days. That's right. We checked in on a mm, Tuesday. We checked in on a no, Monday, matter of fact. We checked in on a Monday real early in the morning, like 3 o'clock. Well, we was there until uh, the next day. We was going to do a bow routine day the next, not that morning, on Tuesday morning we were fine um, and then Wednesday morning I was going to have to do a bow routine well my mama she was carrying the looking for some more towels and when she asked the cleaning girl uh, Miss Brown about the uh, towels well she uh, up and jumped and said well what do you need them for and my mama said well I've got a handicapped individual in that room down there and he's going to have to have them for, so that we can give him a bath in the morning. And she says, well, what about our handicapped accessible room up here up front? Why didn't you uh, check him into that? Well, the 
girl says, "Why don't why don't you come up here and take?" <laughs> Sorry about that. Hold on just a second. Why don't you just come on up here and take a look at this room right up here? So my mom followed her on up there, and little Miss Brown she opened up that door, and she and she uh um uh, my mama darn near started a crying, cause it had a rolling shower, it had a queen size bed, and it had a fold out couch. Boy, it was all set up, and so. That was not the depiction of the uh, handicapped facilities on the uh, website and or um, whenever we call whenever the rooms were being set up, they called and asked about handicapped accessibility and they explained they described the their handicapped accessibility rooms and it was nothing like that. This was high quality friends, I'm telling you. So if you're handicapped in a wheelchair and you need to have full access facilities, you stop yourself into the uh, into the Hampton Inn Northeast in uh, uh, Columbia, South Carolina. All right, all righty. Hey, by the way, I am going to be sending some people that way in a couple of months here. Their son's going to be graduating boot camp. So y'all take special care of them, won't you? I know you will because, well, it's not that I, I'm asking you to. It's just your policy. Yes, sir, that store, that uh, hotel has the best policy in the world. I don't know what it was. Was the manager that had just taken over and she turned the... Uh, Turned the situation upside down, and she done a good job of it too. And I'm I was happy to see it, cause that night manager when we went when we went in, he was more than helpful, and he didn't even have to ask for, he didn't have to call anybody up to find out what to do. He was knowledgeable, and he done what it took to make us happy. And well, that's all you can ask from a, that's that's a, all that you can ask from a, a chain of hotels. So. Don't forget, Hampton Inn, Northeast, in South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina, that is. Okay, now, psh, family reunion. It was fun. They had the games out there. They had the uh, washer toss. They had the bocce ball. They had the bolo toss. They had the uh, um, toss across game. They had another game, but nobody wanted to play it, so I, I didn't even remember what it was called, Crackle or something like that. It looked more like a card game or something. I don't know. So, that game didn't get played, but anyway. And then there was a group over there on the other side of us had one of them balloon tent, them uh, balloon houses, and they was all jumping up and down and around in, uh, in that balloon house. And then they had themselves a game of volleyball, Yes, sir. They was having some fun over there at their, at their uh, party, too, I tell you. Up there in Blanchett Park. Yes, sir, Blanchett. You know, the thing about Blanchett is it was all, all named after Louis Blanchett. Louis Blanchett, he was a, he was a French uh, feller that came in here into St. Charles and done all kinds of neat stuff so you know he's we got a Blanchett landing so they named a bunch of stuff after him which was a good thing because well history will go to tell you that those people that do all the good stuff get all the best names get all the names all the places named after them that's right you know Lewis and Clark why they di they discovered the pathway to the west and well they they uh uh uh, let's see, what did they do? Oh, yeah, well, they got a Lewis and Clark Bridge named after them. That's right. Plus, they uh, done some other things, too. Um, they had their friend, Sacagawea. She was an Indian maiden, and she carried a baby with her most of the way. She was pregnant, and then after she was pregnant, she had to carry a tote that child upon her. An old fat poose. Put it on her back, carried it around in a backpack. 
That's right. That's what the Indians did, you know. Papoose their babies. Well, hey, it's already ten minutes into it, and I don't even feel winded yet. I thought about singing because, well, today was one of those weird days. It was sunny but cloudy. It was cloudy mostly, but then there was a, was a little bit that was cloudy, and so we. So anyway, um, if you heard that in the background, it was telephone ringing. So I had to pause out real quick for just a second so that uh, things could be taken care of there. Anyway, I might have to be taking a trip here in a minute. I don't know. Mm, gotta go back from... Nah. I should have done that before I sat down. But I didn't. Anyway. Uh, it brought to, brought to mind, you know, a song, of course. I got sunshine on a cloudy day when it's cold outside I've got the month of May I guess you'd say what it takes to make me feel this way is my girl my girl talking about my girl Anyway, that's where it was. So. Anyway. I think I'm going to have to pause out here for a minute. Alright, there we go. Okay, so that being said, I don't know what it was. I had the sunshine on a cloudy day, and then, then uh, anyway, my mom and dad, they stopped in, and they said their hellos and their greetings and stuff like that, and, well, it was a good old time. It sure was. Got to see my friend Marty and his uh, beloved Marie, and, uh, got to see Laura and, and uh, I'm not going to go through all the names because there's so many names to name off and, and uh, I'm not going to do that to you name all them names but uh, yeah, Sandy was there and Ken and Becky and and uh, oh I better quit you know Barb and Dean of course because well they're, they're the ones that set it up and you can't go on there you can't go and not mention them, so I had to mention them. Uh, so anyway, uh, we'll not mention any more names because, well, we don't want to get in trouble. We didn't get permission to mention them names even. Already I'm in trouble for mentioning the names I did. I'm sure I am. Like them blue eyes? Boy, look at them blue eyes tonight. Wow. wonder if they show up as blue to you as I'm looking at them here. Well, I don't know. But the you what? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, whatchamacallit. Brenda was there, and she was talking about going fishing out there at Bush Wildlife. Yes, for one of the ponds out there is, mm, I guess, a turtle pond. Because they went fishing, and she caught three different turtles on one worm. Yes, sir. Must have been one mighty worm to catch all three of them turtles on, not get chomped and, ch and add up. Anyway, they was little turtles, but still, you know, pull in a turtle, throw it back, pull in a turtle, throw it back, pull in a turtle, throw it back. And then she did catch one fish. She was probably a bluegill, probably no longer than my hand from here to here, not even not even to the fingers, just to the knuckles there. So, you know, from nose to chin on me. So, not a very big fish at all not a very big fish so anyway I told her you know I said if you'd have reeled there in nice and slow you might have been yeah, you might have caught yourself an eating sized turtle she just laughed at me yes sir that's the way it is folks just a laughing and a giggling and a carrying on old people blowing bubbles I was trying to I was trying to gonna get some video of somebody blowing bubbles but it didn't happen 
nobody uh, nobody got them bubble blowing video for me so there was an acting the fool yeah I always like to see people act the fool and catch them off guard you know one of these days I'm gonna take that camera of mine and I'm gonna go on off and I'm gonna catch catch some people doing stuff and I'm gonna ask them you know I'm gonna ask, definitely ask them hey can I put that on the Facebook I mean on the YouTube because well that's what these episodes do they go on the YouTube anyway hey it looks like my time's up so hey this here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you and you know God loves you and so do I so we'll have a blessed day in Jesus name amen amen